Hey everybody, welcome back to my house. Today we're taking it back outside. I'm gonna be doing another recipe on the Blackstone. So this is one of my all time favorite sandwiches. It's a patty melt. First thing I'm gonna do is get my bread going because this is gonna go kinda quick. Um, I buttered the bread, so I'm gonna put the buttered side down. And then same with my second one here. Give them a little space. And this is gonna be on a lower heat because I want it to brown but not burn. And then I've got two kinds of cheese going on this one. I've got Swiss, and then I've got some Gouda. I think the combination of cheeses makes this really nice. I got a nice marble rye so all the flavors kind of meld. Get those down. And then here, I've already made up some caramelized onions. So I'm gonna put that on now and let these cheeses melt a little bit. The other thing I brought out today is a lid because putting a lid on this will also help to melt the cheese a little faster. And I want to melt it fast because I'm going to do these patties smash style again because again I love that crust and it's really going to help facilitate the cooking. So I get my caramelized onions on. These take a little while to cook but they're totally worth it. There's so much flavor. And I'm going to put a lid on my first one here just to kind of get that cheese melting and see how we're doing here. Yeah, that's toasting nicely. Shouldn't take too long, but you do want it on a low heat. So while that goes, now we'll get into our burger patties. Normally in this recipe, we have you patting up a six ounce patty, but again, I'm using this Blackstone, so I really like to do the smash technique. And it really helps cook them a lot quicker this way. So I will go on and I'll start to smash here. Whoa. There we go. So, and I'm also gonna try and smash them a little bit more oval shaped because the bread's oval. So I want the patty to kind of fit so you get a bite of everything and you don't just have the patty in the middle and then, then you're left with no burger on the side. So try and keep it a little more oval. So I'll go on with my seasoning. Maybe a little more. And then I'll switch out my lid, because this should be melting nicely. Yeah. Move these down a little bit. All right, so that cheese is starting to melt. Like I said, that lid is going to help facilitate that. And I will check here, because you don't want to burn this bread. You just want a nice golden toast on it. Yeah, it's looking really, really nice. Cheese is starting to melt, and these patties are cooking nice and fast. So I know that my patties are done on the first side. I can really see a crust developing and the juices are starting to pool up on top. So now I really gotta scrape well because I don't want to lose any crust. There we go. Yeah, look at all of that flavor. This is what I love about the smash technique. It is gonna be more of a well done dirt burger, but it still stays nice and juicy. I'm trying to get all that crust, there we go. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. So I'll let these cook for a couple minutes and then our, our sandwiches will be ready. All right, I'll let these cook just a couple minutes on this second side. They cook super quick. And I'm just gonna pat, make this patty melt. So it's hot. Put that first burger on and your second patty here. And then I'm gonna grab my other spatula to kind of help me with this cheesy slice of rye. Look how perfectly crusty that is. And this is again what I love about cooking on a flat top. Everything goes so much quicker and you can cook in two different rates. I had this guy on high, this guy on low. So I'll take these off. And this patty melt's one of my favorite things. I actually, when I applied for my job at Certified Angus Beef, one of my uh, tests was to make a patty melt recipe. And this is based on that same patty melt recipe. So I hope this is what helped get me that job and it wasn't just my charming personality. So there it is, super gooey. You got the caramelized onions, the smash burger, super juicy, I mean, it's dripping down. Well, so hot, but so good. Join me again next time, and we'll do another recipe out of my backyard.